May pinus na naman si Kuya Dev and marami na naman tayong naruffle na feathers. Pag-usapan natin yan. Hi! If you're new here, I'm Rem, also known as Kuya Dev, and I share tips and insights on how to get into tech and shift careers into tech. Okay, so nung nakaraang araw, meron ako shinare na thoughts sa Facebook about things that I've been observing in a lot of tech communities. Hindi ko na sila iisa-isahin, marami sila. And uh, this has been prevalent for you know, for years na. There's this culture of, sabi natin, beginner shaming. Some, there's a beginner, especially those who are actually just starting out talaga, yung talagang wala pang kaalam-alam, and they ask things na parang sa tingin namang iba, na more experienced is, you know, quote-unquote, stupid questions. Tapos shoot down nila mga yan, sinishame nila na, Uy, dapat alam mo to, or nasa Google naman lahat yan, ba't mo pa tinatanong yan? This culture is actually very harmful for the broader community. At hindi lang sa community, even, you know, if you are part of that organization na ganun yung culture, for that organization, masama siya. Nung pinost ko yun, maraming nakarelate, maraming nag-share ng mga experiences nila and mga thoughts nila. Siyempre, hindi naman lahat yan mag sa sinabi mo. Pero may mga misunderstanding dun sa ano ko eh. May mga nag-umangal, pero kung babasahin mo yung angal nila, it's the exact thing na sinasabi ko. Parang na-misunderstand lang nila yung pinost ko. Pero again, saan natin puntahan niya? Ito yung tanong ko sa mga ganon. If you yourself na may misinterpret mo yung mga gantong na pinost sa Facebook or social media, you misunderstand things on the internet. Isn't it unfair for you to expect sa mga beginners to from the get-go pa lang, sa simula pa lang, maintindihan na nila yung mga bagay sa internet. No? Yung mga resources na yan. Kung mag-search ka ngayon eh, how to get started, sabihin natin sa JavaScript. Yung lalabas sa Google, napakarami. So, why are we expecting them to have a sense na, ah, ito, alam ko na, ito agad. Ito agad yung gagawin ko. Na-search ko eh, sa Google eh. Eh, ikaw mismo, you have that tendency, even me, even myself, I have that tendency to actually misunderstand things on the internet. Lalo na pagka wala ako ng full context. Kung ganun tayo, tayo na, mga senior tayo, mga tech leads, CTOs, we have that tendency to not fully understand things on the internet. So why are we expecting beginners na ganun sila? Na maintindihan nila agad yung mga bagay-bagay sa internet, yung mga resources na yan. Diba? Para unfair. Unfair sa kanila yun. <laughs> again, again, oh, may mga nagsasabi, dapat hindi, na sila, hindi natin sila ini-spoon feed. Yes! I agree. Hindi yun yung point ng post ko. <laughs> yung point ng post ko is yung about the rude behavior towards those questions. Yung behavior, ha? Yung rudeness, yung binabara natin yung mga beginners. Yun yung ayoko. There are better ways of telling beginners how to ask proper questions. Hindi yung, i-google mo na yan. I-google mo lang yan, madali lang yan. Doon pa lang, di ba? Parang, sinushoot down mo yung beginner. Kasi, ako andun ako sa paniniwala na if someone is asking that question, andun yung curiosity eh. And we need to foster that curiosity. Huwag natin siya papatahin. And if you you shoot down someone who is curious, there's that danger of killing that curiosity. Eh, yun ang ayaw natin mangyari. Hindi ko ina-advocate na mag-spoon feed tayo. Hindi. Hindi yun yung point ng post natin. <laughs> Again, na-misinterpret nyo, di ba? Di ba? For you to misinterpret that, paano pa kayo yung mga beginner? It's unfair. So instead of us doing that, there are better ways of telling beginners how to ask better questions. Actually, I tried to do that, no? Meron akong uh, episode on my podcast. Uh, ilagay ko na lang dito yung link, dito, na I tried to discuss some ways for beginners to actually ask better questions. Of course, hindi kompleto yan. May mga other ways pa, but, you know, I, I try to put some ideas. But again, that's a separate discussion. Ibang discussion yun. <laughs> Yung dinidiscuss lang natin dito kung paano kayo sumagot sa mga ganun na tanong. Na bastos kayo, no? Maraming bastos eh. Kasi sabihan pa pagka syempre, pag binastos ka ng ibang tao, syempre, ano mong magiging reaction mo? Syempre, masasaktan ka or you would react negatively. Tapos sinagot sila nung nagtanong, uh, binalikan sila. Sabi nila, ang arte mo naman. Ang balat sibuyas mo naman. In the first place, what pa sinagot ng ganun, 'di ba? 
<laughs> you have no right to be rude to other people just because magaling ka. Eh kung magaling ka, di dapat you could have articulated your knowledge in a way na hindi siya spoon feeding. You get what I mean? Kasi yung ganun na response, yung ginaganon niya natin, natin yung mga beginners, napakatamad na way nun eh. Ang daling gawin nun, ang daling mang bara. Napakadali niyan. Barahin ko kayo ngayon, ang dali eh. Ano yun? Lolo mo. Di ba? Parang <laughs> napakadali. Pero for you to actually think about the situation dun, nung nung nagtanong and to formulate an answer na sa tingin mo would be the most effective way to help that person, it really takes a, a whole lot of effort. And I get kung bakit uh, ayaw gawin ng mga tao yan kasi not everyone has the time. Sa akin naman, if you don't have anything kind to say, huwag na mag-post. Huwag na mag-reply. Just scroll up. <laughs> huwag mo na siyang barahin. Hayaan mo yung, yung iba to come in and tell the person. Uh, yung question mo is, yeah, maganda yan, you are curious, but try this. No? Try to search something like this. Try to find resources on this topic. No? Ako nga, ngayon nga kasi parang there's resources like roadmap.sh, di ba? Na pag kami nagtatanong, saan ako magsisimula? Ito, roadmap.sh. Simula mo na dyan. Then, if you have further questions, ipost mo doon sa community. Yung mga ganun ba? Hindi mo na sasabihin na, bakit mo pa tinatanong yan? May ganito naman. You don't need to say that. It doesn't add anything to the conversation. It just you know, makes the person feel bad. Ano makukuha natin doon? At yung, isa pa, During that ano, sa mga sa mga comments, sa mga conversations that revolved around my post, naglabasan na ngayon mga tao na sinasabi nila. And I can attest to this kasi ako ganun din ako. Nangyari din sa akin to when I was starting out na natatakot na sila magtanong. And that is not a culture that we want. Ayaw natin 'yon. Eh ko sa inyo, gusto niyo ba 'yon? Wala nang tatanong sa communities niyo. Lahat ng tao takot magtanong. Kailangan natin tanggalin yun, yung takot na yun. We need to build a safe space for people to ask questions. Pag kayo mga tao, takot magtanong, you kill learning. You kill discussions. You kill conversations. And no one you know, benefits from that type of culture. Wala. Walang progress, walang napag-uusapan. Kasi takot pa ang mga tao magtanong eh. Grabe naman yung mga yun, mga snowflake, takot magtanong. Jesus. Kasi nga, yun yung binild yung culture eh. If the culture is safe enough, then that's what we are trying to build in a lot of our communities. Hindi dapat ganito. Yung pa naman yung pinakaayaw ko, ganyan talaga sa real world. Wala na tayong magagawa. May magagawa tayong lahat. <laughs> Lalo na, pagka senior ka, if you're a tech lead, you're CTO, you're someone who has that, ano, that influence, may magagawa tayo. And the buck starts with us. Huwag nyo lang hintayin yung iba pang gumawa ng change. We ourselves can change things. You start with your team, no? Dun sa organization nyo, sa company nyo. Simulan nyo doon. If you're an admin in your community, simulan nyo doon. Ako mismo sa TCS, and even, I try even the React JS Philippines, although wala na ako masyadong oras to, to moderate it. But what I try to do is, pagka nakakita ako ng ganun, nagko-comment pa ako, wag ganito, hindi. Ngayon, kasi wala na akong oras to actually engage, tinatanggal ko na agad. Dinidelete ko na. Tapos, minawarningan ko dun sa tools ng Facebook and even no, in Reddit, na wag ganyan. We have rules here. Naka-embed dito, be kind. Dun pa lang eh, be kind. Wala na itutulong yung pagiging rude natin towards other people. Kung wala kang magandang sasabihin, scroll up. Huwag ka na lang mag-reply. That's even better than actually putting down other people. Lalo na yung mga beginners. Ayaw natin ng community, lalo na sa Pilipinas. We don't want communities na parang hindi safe para sa mga tao, sa mga, lalo na sa mga beginners, to ask questions. Sa akin, naniniwala ako, there are no stupid questions. Just questions na left unasked. Pagka tinanong niya, of course, oo. Oh, saan ako magsisimula? That's a, the very basic question, no? Pero sa atin, basic yon. But for someone, ako rin mismo, nung nagsisimula ako, I didn't know where to start. And I didn't have mentors. I didn't have a community na alam kong safe akong itanong to. Kasi I've seen how these communities put down those kinds of questions. Na sobrang matatakot ka talaga. Mabuti nga ngayon si Facebook inalaw na yung anonymous posting eh. 
at least kahit man lang doon, members feel safe, no? Again, I don't advocate for spoon feeding. Pero ibang topic 'yon. That's a separate discussion, no? Hindi po 'yon yung pinupunto natin doon sa pinost natin. Hindi po 'yon, no? 'Yun lang, gusto ko lang linawin, ha? Kasi ayun na nga, medyo yung mga conversations parang ah, takit ganito. Ito lang yung sinasabi ko eh na yung rudeness, yung behavior in between tinitira natin, no? Yung yun yung pinag-uusapan natin. Bakit iba-iba na sana na naman napupunta yung usapan. For you to do that, to to project your own experiences towards that post, I get it, no? But don't expect juniors na or mga beginners na makuha nila yung skill na yun <laughs> from the get-go. Hindi ganoon. We have to build a uh, very safe and welcoming uh, culture towards beginners and career starters. Sana magawa natin yun. And muntik ko na makalimutan na isama sa video na to. Kasi in one of the communities na discuss to, na may mga lalaking members na nagkakreate ng fake profile tapos nagpapanggap sila na babae bago sila magpost ng mga tanong nila sa mga communities na to. Medyo catfishing, di ba? Kasi may mga malalaki na mas tutulungan ka pag alam nilang babae ka. Huwag po natin gawin yan. <laughs> Those are very bad practices. But, kailangan din natin tanongin, no? Kailangan din natin magkaroon ng parang evaluation. Why are people resorting to that kinds of tactics na kailangan nilang gumawa ng fake profile para makakuha ng sagot? Kailangan din natin i-examine yan. Kasi, ano ba yung culture na binubuo natin sa community? Are we allowing people to bully? yung mga nagtatanong, lalo na yung mga lalaki, why are we condoning this kind of behavior? Kasi pagka yung culture nyo mabubuo, depende doon sa ano yung i-allow nyo eh. And ano rin yung ini-exemplify ng mga admins, ng mga moderators, paano ba sila umasal sa community? So, the community itself will follow the lead naman ng admins and moderators. Eh. Ano ba yung mga nire-reprimand nila? Ano ba yung mga ina-allow nila na behavior? So, doon magmumula yun eh. Again, hindi natin kinokondon yung ganitong behavior but pagka you're put in a desperate position, it can force you to do things out of character eh. Pero it's also not good to do, no? Huwag natin gagawin to eh, nagpapanggap tayong babae ah. But again, yun nga, examine din natin yung culture natin. Ano ba to? Why are people resorting to this kind of behavior? Ibawal natin yung behavior na yan but we also should again, no? Mabalik tayo doon sa sinabi natin kanina is to foster a culture na safe magtanong kahit sino regardless of gender regardless of background gusto ko yung naging comment ni Choco Relacion sa post ko which is noblesse oblige I don't know kung I'm pronouncing that correctly but it's a concept uh, according to the Oxford Dictionary it is the inferred responsibility of privileged people to act with generosity and nobility towards less privileged. Tayo mga more experienced uh, tech professionals, there's an implied responsibility on each and every one of us to be generous and patient with beginners and career starters. Yung mga nagtatanong ng mga beginner questions. Responsibility natin yun, no? Na maging kind. Na maging generous towards them. So if there's something I want everyone to take away from this is that. Noblesse oblige. Yun lang, balik tayo sa video. And with that, I thank you. And uh, if you have any more thoughts and questions, post them down in the comment section. Thank you, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!